Oh, hey guys. Uh, today I was actually, I'm just going to make a quick video about an important thing that was actually, that probably needs to be addressed because I've been doing this for 22 years and it's not too often that when you're doing like a, a simple hard drive replacement or an upgrade on, on most laptops and desktop, you run into a situation like this, that especially when it's not a, a, a non-rated system. Um, and this one here, it's the, uh, the Acer Nitro 5 model N20C1, as you can see here. Um, I, I did this about a week ago, I think it was, and, and I noticed when uh, I had a client that actually had, like I think it was like a 512 uh, NVMe M.2 SSD that was already installed, and he added a, I think it was a Samsung 970 or 980 series, uh, you know, uh, uh, and a SSD, you know, to make it the primary system. And, you know, because he was having issues with Windows 2, which was severely corrupted and affected. So we, we, I had to wipe out his Windows on the original drive. And he wanted me to run, uh, at the time then, it was his new Samsung drive was actually the secondary drive. He wanted me to make that the, the primary drive. So when I, plug, uh, when I had plugged in my uh, USB flash drive to reinstall the Windows 10 form, um, I noticed I was always getting this screen here. Um, the hard drives weren't showing up, you know, and, and I think they were both 512s at the time or or one was a one terabyte or and then his original was a 512. But the, the case is uh, it wasn't showing up at all. And I was wondering why because I was just thinking, you know what, what the hell is going on? Because usually when you do like a, a simple Windows 10 install, the drives always show up. You know, you might see a bunch of multiple partitions laid out in this area here, maybe five or six of them. But if you have two hard drives, it could be a little bit more than that. But you should clearly be able to see the two main drives with the, the larger capacity size of them. But the whole thing is nothing was showing up. And, you know, so I, I said, you know what, maybe I'll just uh, go into the BIOS by pressing the F2 button, which would actually give you the access to get into the BIOS and check this, make sure that the hard drives are being recognized. And it clearly showed that both drives were what was being detected in the BIOS. So that wasn't the issue. Um, I also had to enable the... Uh, one of the access buttons and one of the tabs if you look carefully uh, by default the bias has actually disabled the I think it was the F12 key that gives you the option to hit F12 so that you can choose your your boot option device because by default with this model here um, the uh, the Nitro 5 N20C1 by default in the bias they actually disabled the uh, the, uh, the F12 option so that if you do want to be able to press F12 and, and choose different boot devices at the, the power up, then I would suggest enabling that and saving your changes and then exiting the bias. And then after that, you can press the F12 and boot off your USB key. Um, so it didn't matter if I actually had, you know, removed the, the original 512 or and kept the Samsung in there and then I did it vice versa. So it didn't matter which you know, uh, you know, a slot I actually had put them in, it would still show up as a blank page here. And even when I ran this part, you know, to see, w to see if, uh, you know, Windows sees the other disk, I knew that in the bias it was showing it, but when I ran it in here, when I, when I listed my disk part, it only showed my, my flash drive as being the only visible drive. So I'm like, what the heck's going on? So I think by the time then, I like, I spent close to like about an hour wondering what the hell is going on until I ran into this one article where, you know, somebody else actually ran into an issue similar to this model. And, you know, he had to, uh, he says for, for his drives to be visible, he actually had to run this, uh, um, he had to install this driver, which is uh, from Intel's website. So, and what you got to do is you got to download the driver. I can't remember if it's actually the middle one or the, or the, the bottom one, but all you have to do is just download them both just to make sure. Cause the, you know, when you actually have to load it inside your, uh, once you extract it into your flash drive, you know, uh, the only drivers that will actually show as an available option for you to choose when you're loading the driver anyways, you know, uh, in this option here, because if you look carefully here, you can actually choose the load driver. So when you choose the load driver, once you've extracted these files here that you're downloading from Intel's website, download them both. Um, here, what I'll do is I'll just forget about the, uh, we'll forget about that. We'll just, I prefer to use WinRAR, you know, it, it's a much better extraction tool here. We'll just do this quickly. We'll install this quickly and I'll just show you guys here. So, at least you'll know the steps. So what we'll do is we'll download them both. 
and I'll show you once, you know, I mean, as you can see here, it, it's already done. And what we do is we will, here, I'll choose this. I'll just make WinRAR the default app to open them all up. So it's much better like that. I'll extract it to, here, I'll, let me go to my directory here. So this here, this is a this is a an NVMe external drive that I actually have for my son to back up his his old rated system. So I'll I'll create a file here. Just just visualize that as not being any present folders or anything. So we'll just create a new. We'll just put it um, Intel. We'll just name it Intel because we know what's going to go in there. Okay. So what we'll do is we download it. We'll download them both. We're, so we already download the first one. We'll download the second one too. And then that's done. What we'll do is we'll extract this. So we'll choose this, and then you should see that there's an Intel folder that I created. Um, oh, no, that's the wrong one. It's right here. So the Intel folder here, we'll extract that into there. So we will do the same thing as the other folder that I actually had, uh, the other file actually we had downloaded from Intel's website, and we'll extract that into the same folder. And there it is. There's the Intel folder there. It's just got a similar file, but that's just, we can overwrite that. So, so once you've done doing that, you know, just imagine if you had a Kingston flash drive or a, a Patriot or whatever brand, it will show up here. So just remember when you downloaded both of your files, one and two, extract them both into your USB flash drive. So once you've done that, all you have to do is, um, we'll just go back to my original one here sorry give me two seconds here so we'll go back to this here so once you go back to this screen here when you're trying to reload windows all you have to do is click on load driver and go into your intel folder and then in in the subfolder under the intel folder it should only display whatever drivers that it, you can actually install. If there's another subfolders underneath that one, just make sure you go deep enough in, until you can choose the, the, the proper driver. So the driver you're looking for is this one here. It is the, uh, the, Intel, the Intel Rapid Storage te Technology Driver and the actual name of it, it is the, oh, wrong one here, sorry guys. Two seconds here. This is the actual name of that, that driver you actually need that you've extracted into there so it's the rst vmd controller 9a08 tgl so once you've chosen that once you've chosen that it'll actually install the drivers for it and and then afterwards you will be able to see once it actually installs the drivers for you it'll actually show you your physical nvme m.2 ssd in this list and then if you you know, uh, obviously, if you have multiple partitions, if you have an existing Windows, or if you don't have any Windows in there, you should just see the physical, the one partition. Just create the new partition, install the Windows 10, and go on. If you do have a previous Windows, and you're trying to reinstall Windows, it, it would be very summary. It will actually show you multiple partitions, but make sure that you delete all of that stuff, all of the existing partitions, and just so that you can end up having one physical partition visible before you start the new Windows install. And once you have one physical hard drive partition just create a new partition delete it create a new one and then just reinstall windows 10 into that and then you'd be good to go um just remember on the the first you know reboot after it uh, it prompts you to restart just just remember to unplug or 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 uh, remove your usb flash drive your windows 10 flash drive because if you don't it will reattempt the windows install all over again so just make sure to remove it when when on your first reboot or restart and then you'll be good to go and you know I, I hope this really helps because uh, it, it was kind of a stump because i don't usually run into issues like this where you have to install a driver because use like i said before the only time that you might have to install a specific driver for your motherboard or stuff for you to reload windows 10 is usually through a raid setup like what i did for my sun system like the one i'm using now um but besides that on a normal windows 10 install on a standard system you, you know your hard drives would normally show in this list here you shouldn't have to go through all of the troubles of installing a specific driver for your hard drive to show up and for Acer to do that. That's like a douche move, you know. So um, I hope that this helps you guys. If you guys have any questions regarding this anyways, just, uh, you know.
you know, just put a comment below, then I'll, I'll try to answer your questions as fast as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.